My name is Johan Terve, VP Marketing at Tilo Networks. I will now give you an overview of the Zero Touch Wi-Fi IoT connectivity service from Aptilo. There is a lot of interest around cellular IoT right now. But we should remember that the majority of IoT devices is and will be short range. It is estimated that there will be 7.8 billion short range IoT devices by 2024. So 80% of all IoT connections will be powered by short-range technologies such as Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi has a huge potential when it comes to IoT, but still we see some strange uses of cellular IoT connectivity for things like indoor electrical billboards, coffee machines and projectors. It just makes no sense to put cellular connectivity in equipment that stays in the same place, indoors. Especially not because Wi-Fi is widely available. Yet that is what we see happening today. It's almost as silly as using the street lights as a bed lamp. I mean, the indoor lightning is already there. And so is Wi-Fi. So why are we not using it even more for IoT connectivity? First of all, Wi-Fi requires manual onboarding. And that is a huge showstopper. And it becomes even more cumbersome for devices that do not have keyboards or screens. The second reason is security. Open Wi-Fi networks are not secure enough. You really don't want things like electronic billboards to be hacked. But what if these issues could be solved? That is exactly what the Aptilio Zero Touch Wi-Fi IoT connectivity service does. With our solution, IoT devices will just seamlessly fly on to the Wi-Fi network when they are switched on for the first time. And they will continue and do so forever. And the Wi-Fi network is highly secure, with encrypted traffic over the air and authentication that is as secure as any cellular device. So what are the existing alternatives today? Existing solutions for onboarding Wi-Fi all require some kind of manual action when the device is going to be onboarded for the first time. We have Wi-Fi Alliance Easy Connect that requires a scan of a QR code. We have Wi-Fi Protected Setup, WPS, that requires a push on a button. You can do setup through Bluetooth, which requires both Bluetooth radio, which adds on to the cost and uh, manual action as well through an app. With the billions of IoT devices, this will simply just not scale. Our Zero Touch solution is truly a game changer for Wi-Fi based IoT. First out is our cooperation with Amazon AWS IoT Core, but this can be done with any IoT Core out there. Let's now look at the solution with AWS IoT Core as an example. The IoT devices on AWS IoT Core has an identity in the form of X509 certificates. This is for secure mutual identification between the IoT device and the application layer when they are connected to share data. However, as discussed, there is no seamless Wi-Fi connectivity for Wi-Fi IoT devices the onboarding process is purely manual. The Aptilo Zero Touch Wi-Fi connectivity solution leverage Hotspot 2.0 and Passpoint while also supporting legacy Wi-Fi equipment and devices. With the Aptilo Zero Touch Wi-Fi IoT connectivity solution, the devices will just securely fly on to the Wi-Fi network when they are switched on for the very first time and they will continue to do so for every connection. We use the X509 certificates that already exists in the Amazon AWS IoT Core platform to authenticate the device. 
Through this integration, we can also verify if the device is active and collect input to form connectivity policies. This forms a secure and fully seamless Wi-Fi connectivity solution for IoT devices based on Wi-Fi. And this service with AWS IoT Core has already won two awards. Let's now look into what the solution means for the different stakeholders. I will now compare the workload for the Wi-Fi IoT user with or without the Aptilo Zero Touch Wi-Fi IoT connectivity service. Without the Aptilo Zero Touch, the Wi-Fi IoT device is completely unaware of the Wi-Fi network it needs to connect to. So the Wi-Fi IoT device needs to be correctly onboarded to the Wi-Fi network when it is switched on. Because it is up to the device to connect to the right Wi-Fi network, the Wi-Fi IoT user do not have to do anything with their Wi-Fi network infrastructure. However, there is a massive workload when it comes to onboarding the device. And as thus discussed before, it is a manual process. So Admin Joe here, he needs to first find and select the right SSID and connect to the Wi-Fi network. Then he needs to enter the security key. And this is done manual for every device that is needed to get onto the Wi-Fi network. And that is maybe okay if you have a handful of devices. But what if you have hundreds or thousands of devices? Uh, as you can see here on Admin Joe's facial expression, uh, there will be a very sweaty onboarding process when you have them in thousands. And frankly, that will just not work. Because not only you have to do it once, you also have to do it all over again when you change the, the security key of the Wi-Fi network, for instance. Let's now look into the same scenario with Aptilo Zero Touch. First of all, the network needs to support Hotspot 2.0, or rather, we suggest it does because it makes it so much easier. And it's very, very easy to do this. It's a one-time setup where you enable the Serotouch IoT service, and that is it. It's like five minutes. Then the automatic onboarding of the Wi-Fi IoT devices will occur, and Admin Joe does just not need to do anything else than just switching on the device. You can change passkey as many times as you like, and the device will just continue to fly on to the Wi-Fi network. And this is where the real magic with the Aptilo Zero Touch solution happens. We integrate with, in this case, the AWS IoT Core and use the X509 certificate for each IoT device to securely authenticate it and to set up the secure Wi-Fi connection using 802.1x. So what about the device manufacturers? What does this mean for them? As discussed before, a requirement to use Amazon AWS IoT Core is that the device have a client certificate. This should be installed in factory if possible. And this needs to be done with or without the Aptilo Zero Touch solution. Furthermore, the manufacturer of IoT devices have to provide and maintain one or several of the manual onboarding tools we have mentioned before. This is necessary to even make it possible for the IoT device user to uh, onboard the device at all, even manually. It's very costly for the device manufacturer to keep these tools updated and the uphill will be just harder for every year. The manufacturer may also need to add unnecessary cost driving hardware features just to support the onboarding process. Hardware such as small screens, input keys, or even other radio technologies such as Bluetooth. With Aptilo Zero Touch, the onboarding tools are 100% based on standards and do not require any maintenances of apps. 
it's simply more streamlined for a large-scale manufacturing process. It's simply a question of supporting the Hotspot 2.0 standard. Support for Hotspot 2.0 is delivered with more or less every ship nowadays. And the manufacturer needs to add the Zero Touch IoT service as one of the services the IoT device should try to connect to. The advantage with this, opposed to the hard-coded SSIDs in legacy Wi-Fi, is that the manufacturers can easily add support for as many Hotspot 2.0 services they like. This is a simple process that can be done in the Wi-Fi firmware. It is then easy to implement that firmware into the production line of the Wi-Fi IoT device. Our platform, with its built-in analytics, APIs and policy engine, help us to create value-adding functions for the IoT use case. In our dashboard, customers can get an overview over things such as how many devices that are connected, type of devices, location and how much data they consume. These data and information about networks and IPs, etc., can also be fetched to the IoT application via our REST APIs. Our platform features an advanced policy engine that is in use with mobile operators as a PCRF. We can utilize that engine and make lookups from AWS IoT Core and potentially other sources to make intelligent decisions based on information such as is the service paid for, is the device enabled and active, special handling for devices at certain locations. We also have the ability to send SMS or email notifications to designated administrators. Example for use for this is to approve or deny access for new devices coming online or to get the message when a device has gone over a certain threshold in data consumption. That was the Aptilo Zero Touch Wi-Fi IoT connectivity in a nutshell. Thank you so much for listening.